Today's video is not sponsored. Good morning, my beautiful bees. It's Aaron B. And I thought today I would just go ahead, jump in and do another little studio vlog today. I have a ton of things that I need to get done. So I've already got my coffee prepared. I don't really feel prepared for this video, but um, yeah, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. I didn't sleep well, but I have a lot of things that I need to get done. I do plan on jumping in and making three new crochet hook sets today. So let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. I also have to run back out to Joann's and pick up some new notions. I have to spend a very good portion of the day finishing up a DIY and crocheting. And I also desperately need to respond to some emails and edit some new videos for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started. I hope you guys have a beautiful morning, some coffee or tea. Feel free to pick up any crochet or knitting project that you're working on because this is going to be a mighty long video. I have a feeling. All right, so in order to start making these hooks, over the last few days, I have been kind of buying new accessories and tools to help me perfect these hooks. Guys, running a small business is so freaking expensive because just when I think that I have purchased everything that I need, I end up needing more things and never having enough things in stock. So, so some of the things that were recommended to me by my beautiful and lovely subscribers just to help me make these resin hooks and just kind of overall with my business. First and foremost, I did purchase a large silicone mat just to help me in my crafting area. You guys probably saw that I've been using a plastic trash bag and I've just been reusing that day after day to make these resin crochet hooks. But the resin mat is really helpful because whatever spills on top of my mat will just dry up and I can peel it off. And then this thing is of course washable, reusable, and super collapsible. So now I have an actually super clean area to work on. Oh, and I also went ahead and put some rubbing alcohol into a little spray bottle here. You guys were telling me that the rubbing alcohol really helps to get the air bubbles off of the very top of the crochet hooks. So that will really help me when the resin has been all dried. I do go in with like a little tool and sand down the really rough edges. That way nothing gets caught on your yarn and the hooks are very smooth and comfortable. But if there were air bubbles at the very top of my crochet hook and I sand them down, I end up getting extremely rough edges instead of super smooth edges. So hopefully the rubbing alcohol can help me solve some of that. And then the thing that I am most excited for is that I went ahead and purchased a bunch of tea push pins or like tea pins. But the thing that I'm actually most excited for is this styrofoam sheet. So I ordered like a four pack off of Amazon, but a huge thank you to one of my subscribers who gave me the helpful tip of using a styrofoam sheet and hopefully some T pins to help me lock the crochet hooks in place in their molding when they are solidifying. So hopefully this will kind of eliminate that little wave in the hook. I haven't experimented with it at all yet, so you guys are really gonna see this live for the first time. And let's just go ahead and get to mixing up some resin, pouring out some new hooks. Um, I really cannot wait to get these hooks out to sale for you guys. I have fallen in love with resin making and resin crafting. And the more that I make these hooks, the more that I really kind of want my niche in the merchandise market to actually be handmade and handcrafted crochet hooks. So this has slowly been turning into another passion of mine besides filming and editing and YouTube. I just love crafting and making things with my own hands. So let's just start getting some of these orders ready for sale. And I think for today's set of hooks, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my white clear holographic flakes because I know for sure that I want these clear white ones to be a staple in my resin hook line. So I just wanna really perfect this. But before I start pouring out my resin, I just wanna let you guys know, I know that I got a ton of comments from my subscribers in my last video telling me about wearing a mask um, or some type of respirator when you're working with resin. But I just wanted to update you guys and let you all know that I did contact 
the resin company that I got my resin from and they inform me that my resin is vapor free and VOC free, which means that there's no chemicals coming out. There's no vapors or chemicals being released as I'm mixing this resin. So I am safe. They said that wearing a respirator is completely optional, but I am safe to not wear one when I'm mixing resin. So yeah, guys, don't go flipping out in the comments. I promise that I am making sure that I'm safe and this resin that I use, I really do like it. It comes out super crystal clear. I am so in love with these like holographic flakes. They're so freaking unique. I've never seen anything like this at the stores, which is why I feel so inclined to make it. All right, so I have been working my butt off for like the last 30, 45 minutes, but I finally have all of my hooks kind of set up with their little pins and they are as straight as I can physically make them. So I'm just gonna let those sit for the next 24 hours. And now I can just go ahead and start on the next two batches of hooks. So it looks like I'm probably gonna be here until noon. It is currently 9.50, so I have I have to get this done. I really have a lot of things on my plate today. Good morning again, my bad bees. So my resin hooks have actually been curing for 48 hours. I meant to do this yesterday, but I was just out of the house all day. So I let these set for a complete two whole days. And now I'm just gonna start pulling everything out of the casing, checking how my new method worked. And I'm hoping that these are really like the perfect batch. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling these hooks out of their casings. And I'm probably going to start pouring three new batches right after. And then later tonight, I can go ahead and get into sanding and prepping the back of the hooks and getting them all completed. Wow, these look like the best batch so far. These turned out so great. Loving that glitter. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy right now. So I just pulled out the first set of six and I'm so proud of myself. I'm very happy to announce that all six hooks came out perfectly. Nothing chipped, everything set in place. And on every single hook, the tip of the hook completely solidified and did not break off. So this is going to be my first official set of six these honestly turned out so beautiful and I cannot wait to finish these up. I do still plan on putting my little logo here, hopefully um, on the very end of every single crochet hook. And I'm honestly just over the moon right now. I cannot believe that I did this myself and I got my entire set of six 
perfectly. So let's also see how the smaller hooks turn out. If you guys have been tuning into some of my live streams, on my last live stream, I did discuss that I do wanna sell sets of six and then these smaller hooks, which are kind of more the temperamental ones, I do plan on selling as singles. Here we go, guys, the very last and eighth hook. Guys, all of my hooks turned out. I'm literally speechless right now. Like just seeing all this kind of come into fruition and just see that it's literally possible for me to make usable, perfect crochet hooks. Trust me, the battle is not over yet. I still have a ton of sets to make and each set is different. I'm sure I still will have some hiccups along the way, but I'm proud of myself and I'm really happy with how these are turning out. Oh no. So I'm just getting ready now to finish up the rest of the hooks. So I'm kind of just putting my last finishing touches on them. But at this point, the last few steps that I have for these crochet hooks is I'm gonna use this little tool here to scrape off the really sharp pointy parts of the resin. That way, like I said, the hooks are completely smooth to use as you're crocheting and they shouldn't really catch onto your yarn or anything else. So right now I have three completed sets that I need to work on and just scrape off the little bits and pieces on the back of the hook. But after I go in and finish scraping off all the extra resin, I still like to go in with my UV resin light and just put an extra coating on the back of the hook just again to ensure that it's going to be super slippery smooth and there's no jagged points to it. I really like this extra finishing touch with the UV resin. So yeah, here I'm just kind of taking some time to touch the hook, run my finger over it, make sure that I'm scraping off everything that's sharp and jagged. Hello again, it's been a few more days, but I just received a bunch of packages in the mail from Amazon that I ordered just to help me with my packaging and all my stuff for my merchandise. So I kind of just wanted to show off some of the other things that I'm working on behind the scenes. So first and foremost, I went ahead and picked out a bunch of different sticker paper. So don't worry, you guys are gonna see the reveal of the gorgeous stickers in the next video because I'm already filming that right now as we speak. So it's kind of hard to see in this packaging right now, but the first sticker paper that I picked out is this really gorgeous holographic clear sticker sheet paper. So this is one of the things that I'm working on right now with my Cricut. I've done a couple test cuts and they've come out so gorgeous. They're so amazing looking. I don't want to spoil the surprise just yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up my logo. But Jordan has already put the sticker on his hydro flask. So there it is right there. I hope you guys can see just how rainbowy and gorgeous that sticker is. So that's going to be up on the shop as well when I launch everything. And then these other sticker papers that I picked out is because I told you guys that I really wanna be putting my E logo onto all of the crochet hooks when I finish it. So I've had to test out between regular standard printer paper or sticker paper, and then also some clear sticker paper because my goal with the logo that I want to put onto all of the crochet hooks, I really want the sticker itself to be see-through and clear, but of course I want my logo to be printed and stand out clearly. And at first I really wanted to be using permanent vinyl to literally cut out the E itself and then put that onto the crochet hooks. But because some of the crochet hooks are so dang tiny, it's really, really, really hard to fit such a tiny little cutout onto the actual hook. 
and I don't want my Cricut to be cutting out a million little tiny E's. So I've kind of upgraded to using sticker paper and I'm really hoping that this does the trick. I've done a couple test cuts and it seems to work out beautifully. So in the next studio vlog, I will do a final product reveal of what these crochet hooks are going to look like. But something else that I also got Jordan to help me with last night, I think I had about 10 sets that needed to be touched up and fixed. So I also went ahead and painted in the little number signifier on all of the crochet hooks. So here is what one of them looks like. I really wanted the lettering to be legible, but I think just adding this extra little touch of painting in the numbers really helps it to stand out. So you're not fumbling around trying to read what hook is what hook. Here's another little example. Here is the 10 millimeter. So I could always use like a black paint to make it stand out against the clear resin. But honestly, I just really like this modern looking white. So this is what the holographic ones are looking like so far. And I also got him to paint on a couple of the numbers onto my floral sets. So let's go ahead and do the final reveal with the floral. So I think that looks so gorgeous. They just look a lot more professional and completed with this extra little touch. So here's what that 10 looks like. Here is also the number nine. So gorgeous now with that paint in there. And just look at all these beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then one of my favorite ones from this set that I worked on is the 6.5. I freaking love the blue and the green flowers. So that's what I'm working on right now. Seriously, if you guys could see my desk right now, it is a freaking mess. There's crochet hook sets everywhere. I also ended up getting a really cute organizer for the corner of this room just because I have so many supplies. It was taking up my entire area. I just really like feeling organized and feeling like I can put everything away at the end of the night. So all of these sticker papers, literally all of the hooks get put away back in the organizer when I'm done. And like I said, Jordan was helping me paint on a bunch of different hooks last night. And I know it looks a little bit crazy right now because all of my hooks are neatly organized in these Ziploc baggies, but I've been waiting to put them away in the gorgeous packaging that I got when you guys order these. I really try to put some time into the packaging and just the overall look of the item when you guys receive it in the mail. But here are some more of the hooks that Jordan was helping me paint all of the numbers on. And as you guys can probably see, these are unfinished. I still need to go in and gloss all of these hooks. So at the moment I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 16 sets of crochet hooks that are almost nearly completed. And I also have two more sets that are currently drying. So they're sitting in their molds and they're just being casted and set into place. So at the moment, I have 16 sets of crochet hooks that are almost ready to be finished up. And something else that came in the mail is this really tiny little UV resin light kit. So like I was mentioning earlier, after I sand down all of the hooks, I do like to go back in and gloss over the very back of the crochet hooks just because I want them to look very finished. And I really didn't want any of the crochet hooks to be sent out looking sanded down and unfinished. So this extra touch of like glossing over the back really just makes the whole thing look that much more put together. So to show you guys an example of what I'm talking about, here is a crochet hook that I used that rotary tool to sand down and get off all of the really sharp, harsh edges. And now this thing is like buttery smooth, but as you can see, it does look sanded down and quite unfinished. And I don't want the hooks to go out looking like that. So, so last night I literally spent about three hours glossing over only two crochet hook sets. It literally took me that long. But like I said, when I add the glossing to the back of the hooks, they just look a lot more shiny and finished. And here is another floral one that has been glossed over the very back. So it really does erase like that sanded look and it just makes the entire hook look a lot more clear and glossy and honestly like something that you can get at the store. So that's something else that I have also been spending a lot of time working on. And believe it or not, for all of the hooks that I've been glossing, I have been using this extremely tiny UV resin light like it's so incredibly petite. I can only fit like a third of the hook under the light at a time. So I'm really spending a lot of time glossing one third of the hook 
putting it under the light. And then like 10 minutes later, I take it out, gloss another third, put it under the light, wait another 10 minutes, and then finish glossing the rest of the hook. And it literally takes that long just to finish and complete one hook. And each hook set is gonna have six hooks in it. So this little tiny UV light has been so time consuming. I've also been thinking recently that I need to upgrade and purchase an even larger UV resin light just so that it can cover a wider area and I can get work done a lot faster. And then the very last thing that I wanted to show you guys an update on is the packaging that the hooks are going to go into. So I spent a lot of time browsing online, trying to decide what I wanted the packaging to look like. And because this first initial crochet hook drop is with holographic glitters, I did decide to go with gorgeous holographic packaging. And this packaging actually really matches that sticker paper that I showed you guys earlier. But look how rainbowy and holographic that looks. Jordan is being a fool behind the camera right now. I can't even show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So yeah, I'm really happy with this choice of the packaging. And thankfully I just checked and the hook just barely fits inside. And the gorgeous thing about this packaging is that it is reusable and recyclable. So it has like a little Ziploc-y effect on the top of it. So if you guys wanna take the hooks out and use it to store any like little knickknacks like nail polish or clips or bobby pins or anything that you guys have around the house, these bags are reusable. So I'm not being wasteful. And and the very last little update that I have for you guys is that these little T push pins worked perfectly on this styrofoam. I don't know if you guys were able to tell, but these crochet hooks came out a lot straighter and there's no longer like little crookedness or like wave to the hooks. They're just like dead straight. So I'm really happy that I was able to perfect that. Yeah, and now at the moment I have like another six or five sets that need to be sanded down and that actually takes about 20 minutes per set as well. So in case you guys were not aware, this has been a very time consuming hobby, but it brings me a lot of joy and it's really fun to work with the resin. And at the moment, I'm already looking online at different additions that I can add into the crochet hooks. You guys left me a lot of great feedback on that Google survey that I had you guys fill out. And there were such wonderful ideas. Like some people were saying like marble effect, swirl effect. A lot of you guys also mentioned those little polymer clay slices that you can put into resin or other crafts. So I've been looking at a bunch of those. So yeah, I'm hoping after this first initial drop that I can quickly start working on other fun designs, other crochet hook sets that are limited edition, and maybe just kind of seasonal, you know, depending on the year and the time of the year. So I have been pretty darn busy. So yeah, I think at this point I'm gonna take a break from working on the resin. I've actually been working on this like three days nonstop. So I'm gonna rest my little hands from the resin and start working on some other crochet projects that are due very, very soon because I need to get those videos reviewed and out to the public ASAP. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys really like these like little studio vlog updates and just kind of like day in my work life kind of video, you know. Thank you guys again for watching and supporting my channel. And I promise that in the next video, you guys will see the final entire product crochet hook set reveal. And you guys will also see the really fun logos that I've been working on. Yeah, I'll be seeing you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.